Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about uh, resource and uh, cost loading. Open up the project schedule and uh, go to view tab. Uh, a couple of things we could do is to uh, zoom the entire project. And you will see the bar chart now look longer with the new timeline. Uh, the second thing we're going to do is actually to define resources. So view tab resource sheet and now you need to type a list of resources okay now i finished the typing you can see i have two people uh two types of material lumber in the concrete and also the supplier uh, and the next thing we need to do is to make lumber actually to be material and also concrete to be material and uh, also put some unit lumber will be in linear foot and uh, concrete will be by volume and uh, the next thing we do is to put in the pay rates for people uh, myself will be paid 50 dollars per hour and uh, my kit will be paid about 10 dollars per hour and the lumber will be one dollar per linear foot and uh, two hundred dollar per cubic yard for the concrete so that's pretty much it uh you don't need to put anything for the supplier because the supplier is already being paid through the material uh the next thing we're going to do is to assign those resources to our tasks so on the top on the view tab and click on Gantt chart so we're back to where we were and to find the first activity we're going to do the resource loading uh, make just want to make sure you're on get quotes not on driveway and not on procurement uh, move to the right side and find the resource names uh, if you have trouble in seeing that column and you can always drag the divider and you know to show up that column and then from the drop down box and the first one just uh, pick my name and the second task will be a little bit complicated uh, this is the order lumber so double click on the task to bring up the task information tab and uh, click on predecessor. Oh, sorry, uh, click on resources and then pick myself and also the supplier. That's all you have to do. And then click OK. And by the way, you will also see the resource name now showing up on the bar chart. Uh, because the order concrete is pretty much the same thing as order lumber uh, for from the point of a res a resource use. So what you can do is either copy and paste, or just like in Microsoft Excel, you can always go to the lower right corner of the cell, and then drag this down. Uh, that's this does the same thing as uh, uh, copy and paste. Uh, now we're going to look at some construction tasks and the first thing is the grading. So double click on that and then go to the resource tab and put myself and also the teenager. Uh, that would be enough. And for the form work, do the same thing. But with the form work, you also need a material. So pick lumber. And also change the quantity to be 76 linear foot. Click OK. Uh, with concrete, you need still need the two people, but you again you will need the material. So put it in eight cubic yard and click OK. So uh pretty much we're done with all the resource allocation next thing we're gonna do cost loading 
we actually already have some of the dollar value associated with this project. But there are a few things uh, we will need to check. First of all, go to the right side and find that thing called add new column and then type fixed cost. Uh, celebration, we are going to allocate one lump sum budget, which is $100. And then we are going to add another new column and this time just a type cost. You can see almost everything has a dollar value because every task has resources associated with it. And also each task has certain durations, which means the resources will cost the money for that time period. Next, we're going to look at uh, project completion. We want to know what actually determines project duration and uh, which tasks will be more important than others. So go to View tab and then find Highlight. And then we want to highlight critical tasks. Seems like everything has been highlighted with two exceptions all the concrete and the grading. Uh, this means uh, those two tasks are actually less critical than others. Uh, in other words, they can be delayed. Let's go back and uh, take out the highlight. So click on no highlight. Now we want to see if those two tasks uh, could be delayed for a certain number of days. And uh, what you want to do is on view tab and find the tables and then click on schedule. So over here we have early start, early finish, late start, late finish. Uh, late start, late finish means the latest time a task can start or finish without affecting project schedule. Uh, so it seems like all the concrete can be delayed for three days and the grading can be delayed one day without affecting project completion date. Click on tables again and pick entry so that we are back to our bar chart view. Finally, we're going to look at uh, how much money the project will be spending each day if everything goes according to the current schedule. Click on Report tab on top, and uh, usually they have something called a cash flow, but unfortunately this is not user-friendly. For those of you who want to try, you can try, but uh, that's not what I really want. So instead, and you should be picking Visual Reports, and from that, and pick Cash Flow Report, and then change the duration or level of data to be days instead of weeks or months, uh, because our project is really short. And click on View. Now your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet should activate. In Excel, this doesn't look very pretty. So what do we want to do is go to the lower left corner and then click on the other tab, which is task usage. And on that, and click on quarter and weeks, just to click on those plus, so the table will expand. Now go back to the chart. You will be able to see a line and also a bunch of bars. The vertical bars show how much money is being spent for each day. And the line diagram actually show the cumulative value for the running total. I think that's all I want to talk about today. Uh, if you have any thoughts or opinion, uh, just give me some feedback. And for those of you who like the video, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.